Hi, and welcome to my guide. Just kidding, but welcome back to my channel. If you get that reference, please comment down below. Anyways, we are back in the kitchen for an anabolic high protein vegan recipe with you guys. So yes, you saw the name in the title and we are gonna be doing our own version of anabolic French toast. Yeah, so I know it's out there to make an anabolic French toast. Only thing is, it's not quite as easy of a swap to make because like the Greg Doucette style they use in the with the Greg Doucette style of the French toast he uses egg whites and since there's no egg white substitute that has high protein we're gonna do an alternate route using a nut milk as well as protein powder so let me grab the ingredients and then we can get started all right, so for our French toast recipe, of course, we're gonna need some kind of bread. So I'm using the Dave's Killer white bread. Don't go for whole wheat unless you absolutely want to, just because the whole wheat flavor will come through and you won't get as sweet of a French toast like you may want. It's gonna come off as like sweet savory. It's just gonna be a little odd. I've tried it and just, this, just use this stuff. I'm not sponsored by them, so. Whatever white bread, you can use Wonder Bread, whatever you'd like to use. Anyways, we are gonna do a blueberry French toast. So I'm gonna be using the blueberry cobbler from Live Body Protein. You can use my 20% off code if you wanna try this as well. Otherwise, you will need some kind of egg replacer. I'm just using the Bob's Red Mill, but otherwise you can always use, you know, ground up flaxseed, ground up chia seeds, whatever kind of egg replacer you want. Then, of course, we're gonna need some type of, type of plant-based milk. I'm opting for Good Karma because this one also has added protein. This has an extra eight grams of protein, just gonna add to our anabolicness to this recipe. But of course, you can just use a plain cashew milk, almond milk, whatever milk of choice. So yes, we are going to get started with the measurements and I'm gonna show you real quick, but we gotta grab our handy dandy scale. All right, so you're gonna need a square pan, something semi-deep because we are gonna just dunk the two breads in here. We're gonna get our milk and do about a half a cup to three quarters. Okay, so 185 grams, that's what I'm using. You can do however much you want. If you wanted more milk, less milk, you can add water if you don't wanna use the milk. Then next, we are gonna add a tablespoon of our egg replacement. We are adding this straight into here instead of doing like the typical mix it with water before adding it into a recipe because this isn't really, you know, a baked recipe. So just go ahead and toss that in there. Then we'll grab our protein powder and do like about a full scoop of this in there. All right, now with either a fork or a small whisk, go ahead and start mixing this up. All right, so it's well combined, and this will be good for about like two to three slices of bread. So I'm gonna go ahead and start dunking these, but I'm gonna do this over by the stove so that we can easily transition the bread to the pan. All right, so while I got this pan heating, we've got the mix over here. I'm gonna start dunking the bread and letting it soak in the mixture. And then I just got some regular spray, whatever stuff you want to use. All right, once that's nice and hot, Go ahead and lightly spray your pan, unless you have a non-stick pan. And then we're gonna grab our first piece, oh my gosh, and toss it right on there. Oh, it's not sizzling. Maybe it's not hot enough, but that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
Then if you want, go ahead and take the excess and then just pour it on top just to add a little extra. And then once you hear it start sizzling, turn it down a little bit to like a medium high heat. So we don't let just like the body part burn. All right, once you see that it's kind of getting firm around the edges, it may still be a little stuck on the bottom. So just take a peek. If it is, just leave it alone for a little bit before we want to flip it. All right, they're just about looking ready to flip. So let's go. Ooh, this one got a little bit stuck. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks good. They ain't gonna look pretty, but it's the protein content that counts. So we're gonna leave this for like another 30 seconds to a minute or so, and then we'll plop it on our plate. Oh my goodness, you guys. Oh. I mean, it sure don't look pretty, but it smells so good. So what I did with the blueberries, I got frozen blueberries and then I put them in the microwave for like about a minute because then it lets the juices come out. And so it just looks like a nice spillage. It looks like a blueberry jam that would be super high in sugar. And then I put some Walden Farms on top and then boom. So this whole dish with the three slices of bread, macros come out to be 58 carb, 31 protein and eight fat. Now, of course, you can add whatever you want on top of this. You can add some peanut butter. I might add some peanut butter on top of it right now, not thinking about it, but let's just try it as is. Oh my gosh, you guys, the smell. And I love this recipe because four ingredients, super easy, and you can use whatever flavor protein powder you want. Get a piece of blueberry. It's so easy and so good. And like I said, four ingredients. You just need a milk, a bread, protein powder, and an egg replacer. And oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh. So freaking good. All right, you guys. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to enjoy this. But if you like this recipe video, give it a nice big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what other recipes I should make that are vegan and high in protein. But otherwise, if you haven't already, subscribe. <laughs> subscribe because I dropped the fork and I'll probably pick it up and still use it because this is my house and I don't care. But anyways, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Go get those gains. Bye.